What's up, my friends? This is John Baruti from Baruti Success. How are you this week? We are talking about the metaverse. Yes, the metaverse. So, how to invest in the metaverse? John, what is the metaverse? Do you live in a vacuum? Do you not turn on the TV? Are you not on YouTube at all? The metaverse, people. The metaverse. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. It's kind of been here. Um, but ever since Mr. Zuckerberg, uh, also known as Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook. <gasps> I'm sorry. Meta. That's right. They're now called Meta and not Facebook. But their ticker symbol is still FB, so I'm going to call them Facebook. Ever since Mr. Zuckerberg had that keynote speech back on October, blah, 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 I think 29th or 28th or whatever, everybody, it's buzzing, it's buzzing, it's buzzing, the metaverse, the metaverse, we're going to make money on the metaverse. So I figured, what the heck, jump on the bandwagon and let's talk about the metaverse. And actually, I'm going to create a whole new basket on M1 Finance. It's going to be called the metaverse basket. And uh, we're going to invest in um, in these stocks I'm talking to you about. All right? So, basically, you know, the reality is the metaverse has been here, right? It's been here for a few years. Uh, roadblocks. Have any of your kids or any of you watching play roadblocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you? Are you? Hmm? Yes. Roadblocks is very much like the metaverse. John, it's, it's not encompassing. I, I can't see it in AR. Yeah, I know, Sally. I know. It's coming. But what I'm trying to say is roadblocks right now, you can build your universe. Build your blocks. You chop away at them. And you build your little cities. And uh, that's basically what the metaverse is going to be. Except it's going to be a much grown up, much more grown up version. And it's going to be way more intense. Right. Um, I encourage you to go. I'm going to link it up um, in this video down in the comments. Actually, not in the description. I'm going to link up Mark Zuckerberg's keynote speech. Uh, click on it. Watch it. It's an hour and some minutes. So, you know, you speed ahead. But it's pretty crazy and it's pretty scary. Um, I'm hoping someday the robots don't kill us. But they probably will. And it's probably going to be starting with the metaverse, which technically is kind of the starting of the Internet 3.0. Right. So back in the 90s, we had a Web 1.0. Remember, you know, now I didn't just have a seizure. <laughs> Do you remember when you used to try to log in to your computer and you heard those sounds over the uh over the internet. Yeah, that was web.0, right? Couldn't do much. Uh, you could do some research and all that stuff, but yeah, it was kind of poopy. Then we moved into web.2, web 2.0, which is kind of what we're coming out of right now, which is the Twitters, the Facebooks, the, um, all the, uh, doing all your banking online and all your buying online and your Amazons and your, uh, and your YouTubes and your Ebays, web 2.0, right? Now, it's getting to the point that um, we want more. Mr. Zuckerberg wants more. And to be truthfully honest, most of us want more. So what's more? An immersive, immersive, more immersive uh, feeling, which means... You know, wearing the goggles and being in an augmented reality and, and going and seeing your friends, but not moving from your chair. I know this is the stuff that sounds scary, but it is coming and I'm here to try to figure out how to make money on it. Just being truthful. All right. So, uh, besides Roblox, there's other companies like, uh, Matterport. If you go on the internet and you look at Zillow's, like my wife does almost every night, um, or any of these, uh, real estate sites. Uh, you go, you see the videos, see the pictures, but then you see the 3D version, right? You can walk through, you can spin the room, you can look outside, look inside. 90% of the time, you're looking at a Matterport software and a Matterport um, device basically maps that room. So it sits in the middle of the room, in the middle of the house or wherever you are, and it takes... Uh, 
it, it, I don't, I don't know the minutia of it, but it basically takes a gazillion picture and it allows you to immerse yourself in the house. Well, in this new metaverse, that's going to be basically what it's going to be doing. And to be able to take your Matterport, um, device and map your room or map your house or map your neighborhood or whatever you're going to do and then put it into digital form and then digitally change it. So I have my house. This is my house. But on the on the metaverse, you're going to have your house, but then you're going to have all these other things, these cool things that you can do, things that you could do physically and things that you can't do physically. It's going to be it's going to be super cool. Uh, again, I hope the robots don't kill us, but again, here to try to make money off it. All right, so let's get into the companies that I believe that we can make money on. You can't mention companies without mentioning Facebook. Sorry, Meta. Um, listen, Mark Zuckerberg has been doing this for years. This has been in his head. This isn't something he woke up, you know, a couple months ago and said, oh, let me try the metaverse. No. Oculus, you know, the headset. Um, yeah, that was part of this whole thing. Uh, so, and that was years ago that they designed that. And th basically the newest version of the metaverse is going to be, uh, Oculus on steroids. Okay. So Facebook, definitely a company that, um, we're going to be investing in. NVIDIA, NVDA. Again, NVIDIA, I'm going to read your description. Um, and for those of you, I do the, my research on market watch. So I got most of these descriptions from Mark, Market Watch. It's just easier for me to read you. So NVIDIA engages in the design and manufacture of computer graphics processors, chipsets, and related multimedia software. It operates through the following segments, graphics, processing units, Tegra processors, and all others. What do you tell me, John? Yeah, okay, this is the engine for the metaverse, right? NVIDIA, the chipsets, the graphic cards, um, all these things, you can't do the metaverse without these things. And NVIDIA is in the heart of it. Um, American company, uh, I don't believe they do all their manufacturing here, but again, American company, and uh, they're going to be the heart um, that brings all these programs and softwares and all these other people together. NVIDIA, okay? Next, already mentioned it in the body in the beginning of uh, this, is Roadblox. And John, it's a gaming software. I know what it is. It's a gaming software, but just think of this. They've already been planning um, their metaverse, their version of metaverse, for years. They've been building this out. So they're going to be in the middle of this whole, uh, what do we want to call it, uh, gold rush? Um, new theories? Uh, all right, we'll go. So Roblox is already in the minutia of it. So they're going to be ahead of people on, you know, how to get people into their program and how to immerse them and build their own cities. They're already part of it. Uh, yes, it's more for younger children, but I believe Roadblocks is going to be a big part of the metaverse. Uh, all also already mentioned Matterport, which is MTTR. Uh, again, as mentioned above, it's a 3D rendering software and hardware company that lets you create 3D images from scanning the area. Ew, nice. Metaverse, perfect. Next is Unity. This is a new one to me. Every time I do, I, I'm doing research on the Metaverse, 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 Metaverse. Um, this company keeps popping up, Unity. It is ticker symbol U. Unity Software Inc. operates a real-time 3D development platform. Its platform provides software solutions to create, run, and monetize interactive, real-time 2D and 3D content for mobile phones, tablets, PCs, consoles, and augmented and virtual reality devices. Does that sound like something to you? The metaverse, right? Um, did a little bit of research on this company. I'm not going to put my money into it yet. I want to do a little more research, but all I can find out so far, good company, um, good management staff. Uh, you know, listen, their numbers are a little wonky as far as your traditional research stuff, peas and all that stuff. But, uh, all this stuff is on the cutting edge. You know, all this stuff you can't use your normal, uh, research, um, information for. You're going to have to, we're going to have to, um, you know, trust the, uh, uh, what are we trusting? We're basically trusting our gut. 
That's what we're doing. We're trusting our gut on some of these companies. But I believe Unity, I'm going to do a little more research. It's one that kept popping up, and I did like it. Um, next is Autodesk, A-D-S-K. Uh, I believe I already invested in this in one of my other platforms, uh, one of my other uh uh, investment, uh, portfolios, one of my personal ones. I'm not sure I have to check that. But again, uh, Autodesk is a design software and service company. It, it, its products include AutoCAD. You know, if you've been an engineer or you, you've done any kind of designing, AutoCAD's, uh, definitely something you need. BIM 360, Civil 3D. If you, listen, I'm not going to read all the, all the, uh, products they have. They have a gazillion of them. Um, the firm also offers product development and manufacturing software and digital media and entertainment, which consist of tools for digital sculpting, modeling, animation effects, rendering, and composting. Composting? Composting. Compositing. Compositing. For design visualization, visual effects, and game production. Again, this is not one that I super am familiar with, but every time I did research on this metaverse thing, another stock that continually popped up. Another stock that's already in the, <clears throat> in the center of all this. Uh, they're building out stuff for different platforms, um, already for the metaverse. Okay. So those are my top stock picks that we're going to be looking into. Here's my three crypto thoughts. Now, you're like, John, you said you weren't going to invest in stuff like that. Yeah, no, no, I didn't. I said I'm going to have a small portion in small things like cryptocurrency, right? And uh, to be honest with you, I'm excited about it. You can't, not that you can't have the metaverse without crypto, but... You can't have the metaverse without a true metaverse without crypto, right? Because the first one I'm going to talk about is Ethereum. Um, Ethereum is a token. ETH is the token, but it's a platform. Ethereum is something that you're going to build on. And in the metaverse, um, you're going to be the, the, the programmers and the coders are going to be building on these platforms to build out this whole metaverse thing. So listen, let, let me give you, um, uh, a little idea of what the metaverse kind of is. So let's say um, you buy a jersey, a football jersey, right? The old internet, 2.0, wouldn't let you take that jersey out of the stadium. Let's say you bought a, um, a Dallas Cowboys jersey, right? You couldn't take it out of the stadium. It doesn't work outside the stadium, right? In reality, we buy the, uh, the shirt. And we can bring it wherever we want. Well, in the metaverse, that's exactly how it's going to work. If I want to, um, you know, buy a, a shirt and be in a game Madden football, right? And I'm on the sidelines cheering or I'm actually in the game playing. Um, I want to take it to uh, another game. You know, what if I want to take it to one of these um, auto theft uh, blah, blah, blah uh, games? Uh, what is it? Grand Theft Auto. What if I want to take it to a Grand Theft Auto game and drive with that shirt? Well, in the metaverse, you're going to be allowed to. Things are going to be cohesive. They're going to work together. That hasn't been, we haven't had that, right? That you could just click out of something, bring whatever you have in that game to somewhere else. I bought a Ferrari in, um, in one of the driving, uh, games, right? Well, I want to take that Ferrari to, uh, I don't know, to a different game. I, I bought it. I, I own it. I want to take it to a different game. Well, that's part of the metaverse, but it's also part of what's called NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Too much information, too much for this video, okay? But just believe those non-fungible tokens use the cryptocurrency, okay? It uses the blockchain. So you need cryptocurrency for this whole thing to work, okay? So like I said, First and foremost is Ethereum. Love it. I love Ethereum. I love Ethereum more than Bitcoin. Um, although I am investing in Bitcoin also. Bitcoin is more of a gold. You're buying, uh, you're buying a store of value with Bitcoin, right? Um, yes, it's crazy and it goes up and down, but Ethereum is more like using cash. You know, um, Bitcoin is what we hold in our bank and Ethereum is what we pay for everything with. That's how I see it. Okay. Also, these are two new cryptos I'm investing in. I just invested in Mana this week, which is Decentraland. I love that. Decentraland. 
That's the name of it. And then its token is mana. Well, the token, um, which describes itself as a metaverse platform that allows users to buy and sell virtual properties. The token runs on the Ethereum, Ethereum the, uh, blockchain. Again, so they're building this token out specifically to buy, you know, a property in this, in the metaverse, right? It, it's telling you in the description of what it is. Um, I'm not 100% positive on my research on crypto yet. I will be honest. Uh, I'm doing a lot of research. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about it, but do you do you, right? These are very volatile, very, uh, skeptical things that, and again, I'm not putting a ton of money, very little, a little, little bit of my portfolio into these things, but I'm excited about them. All right. So that was, excuse me, that was mana, M-A-N-A. -A. So if you go to, um, Coinbase Pro and you want to search it, you type in M-A-N-A, -A, but it's called the central land. So it's the central land and then the token is mana. Okay. The next one is engine, E-N-G-I-N, but the symbol is E-N-J. Okay. I said E-N-G, but I meant E-N-J-I-N. All right. Let me give you its explanation. Engine coin is a cryptocurrency for virtual goods created by Engine. Engine is the largest gaming community platform online with over 250,000 gaming communities and 18.7 million registered gamers. 18.7 million registered gamers. The engine engine team is designing the coin completely around gaming with the goal of it being the most usable cryptocurrency for the industry. Okay. The goal of it being the most usable cryptocurrency for the industry. Now listen, everybody can put whatever they want in their descriptions, right? Engine is again, very volatile. It's a new cryptocurrency, but it's getting proven. And again, anytime I kept researching metaverse, these, a lot of things came up, but these three cryptocurrencies kept coming up. So I dove deeper and I like what I saw, to be honest with you. Um, and I liked who was investing in them. Um, I believe in the, in some of these people. Um, and some of them are pretty smart cryptocurrency guys. So again, these are the three. So Ethereum, ETH, Engine, ENJ, and Decentraland, M-A-N-A. -A. Those are the three currencies invested for the metaverse. All right. So again, this is all speculation. Um, I'm excited about it. It's a new thing. I'm going to, again, in my M1 finance, um, platform, I'm going to do a new, a new, uh, pie for the metaverse alone and we're going to track it. We're going to see how it goes. So I hope you had a great time on this one. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. Yeah. Good. I don't even know how long that was, but we're going to get rich in the metaverse, going to get rich in the metaverse. Okay, we'll see you soon.